Part 1, Super Mario World, The Lost World Super Mario. Ah. A good game. Everyone wants. Mario. This story began last month, August 5th, 2009. I was on the way to my work when I saw an old man selling old GBA cartridges near our office. I ignored it and proceeded to my work. I proceeded to my office, booted up the PC and chat with other office mates. I was surprised to see a kid in our office. I asked his name. He said he is Jerry. One of my office mates child. He was busy playing his GBA at his father's desk. Suddenly, he went to me. Hello. It seems that you have a great time playing with Super Mario aren't you? Nope. I think this game has glitch. He asked me if I can fix his Super Mario World cartridge. He also said that the cartridge was a newly bought one. He and his father bought it from the store outside the office. He was excited to see it, but the game was too glitchy. I opened up the cartridge and I see that the saving system has been destroyed. I opened my cabinet and inserted the new one. I checked the board for more errors. So far, there are no further damages. I opened my GBA and inserted the cartridge. I insert a GBA ear loops to hear any glitch on the game. I was really creeped out to see. The title screen was filled with glitchy red mountain background. The music was in a low pitch tone. It's like the bass music when you are inside Bowser's castle. I press start button. Then I heard a really really loud and slow voice. It says, Here we go. Super Mario. I press the A button continuously to skip. That horrible thing. The map showed up. I was really really creeped to see the ocean red. And some stones as violet. The ground is color brown and the path is color gray. The music. Is so slow. And also, the Yoshi's house is now eyes hue some names are also strange. Such as Grey Switch Palace, Yee's LND1 and Boo's house. I played the eyes hues. My. Eyeball nearly popped when I see dead Yoshi everywhere. Blood is dripping from the green. Tree, but the green tree is now gray. I immediately went of the screen and went to the. Yes LND1. At first, no one's there. I run earned some one-ups, mushrooms, and a cape. Feather. Near the end. There is a headless chasing chuck I tried to spin jump over it. Several times but it doesn't make any sense. I proceeded to the finish line. I was now in. The Grey Switch Palace. The strange about this is, the stage has only one room. And this. Room was full of nothing except the grey. I pressed it and everything seemed to be. Normal. But after pressing it, other levels on Yoshi's Island was now unlocked. I go. Inside the booze house. The first and second room seem to be normal. Same music is. Playing. The music was same from the title screen up to the stage. But after going inside. The boss door, I screamed. I saw red background with a real dead kid on the background. It. Looks like a picture inserted onto the stage. A big boo was chasing me and I am on a. Moving platform where Iggy was. I spin jumped over the boo. A loud voice said, Boo. Super Mario dead. I turned the GBA off. My boss caught me. Playing and scolded me. After the 10 minutes of decoy work, I removed the cartridge to. My GBA. I immediately connected the cartridge to my computer. Beside the ROM is a text. File. I opened it and saw this. Thank you for playing Super Mario World, The Lost World. I opened the internet and searched for the binary text. It was, Evil Mario 666. I copied the ROM file to my USB drive and compiled it to another empty cartridge. I deleted the ROM and inserted a real Super Mario World game. I also changed the saving system, again. I gave the fixed cartridge to the kid. Jerry was really happy to see the new game. After the office work, I look at the GBA cartridge. Vendor. But he was now gone. At the exact place, 
I saw a cartridge with a 666 written on. Pentel pen. I hope I didn't pick it up. It caused a huge trouble. I go up the office and put the cartridge in my cabinet. I went home safely.